Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. You know, I want you to know in Mark 2nd, verses 6, 7, and 8 and 9, Jesus says something so remarkable that I want you to understand what he's trying to tell us. Because he says, why? Or he's talking to the Pharisees. And he says, why are you reasoning these things in your heart? He had just made a wonderful miracle of, of healing a man's shriveled all hands and made it well. And this is what he tells the Pharisees. Why are you reasoning this in your heart? You see, there are some things you can't understand in the natural. In the spiritual, being in the natural, you will never understand. You cannot think of what's happening in the supernatural in your life if you're going to think naturally. See, this is what uh, it says in 1 Corinthians 2.14. Let me give you a cross-reference. And it says that, um, that you, things of the Spirit... You cannot accept those if you don't have the Spirit. You can only discern the Spirit by the Spirit. So if you're trying to understand the supernatural in your life, you can't do it on a natural plane. You see, we are supernatural creatures because we have Jesus already inside of us with the Holy Spirit. So why do we try to reason things out in the natural? You see, God opened up the heavenlies. He ripped open the heavenlies a long time ago for us to live in both worlds. Jesus lived in the natural and the supernatural, and we can too. It's been ripped open apart when he died and rose from the dead and he went back to heaven. The heaven never closed up. It's still open enough for us to function in two worlds, the supernatural and the natural. But you cannot understand the supernatural in your life or even the Holy Spirit inside of you until you have an intimate relationship with Jesus. That's when you start understanding the spiritual things of God. You can only discern the Spirit by the Spirit. So I want to just encourage you today to get closer with Jesus. Start being hungry for the things of God so that the Holy Spirit can show you the supernatural going on all around you every day, every minute of the day. There, in, I, in my life, there are no coincidences. It's all a God coincidence. God places everything before me. That is the supernatural that I live in. That's the supernatural that you live in. God is always working in your life on levels we don't even see. Let me pray for you so we can open up our eyes and have eyes to see in the Spirit and ears to hear in the Spirit for your life, for, for this time right now, not in the heavenlies when you go to heaven. This gift is for now on the face of this earth to understand and to function in two worlds. Let me pray for you. Oh, Heavenly Father, I just call on the Most High God. And under the open heavens that Jesus opened, I decree and declare that you are healed in Jesus' name. That we have eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit is doing in our life. And that, Lord God, I believe that healing is for today. I believe that healing in muscles that hurt and legs that hurt are right now. I believe, Lord God, that we are healed by your stripes. I believe, Lord God, your word that says, I sent my word. And I have healed you. I believe, Lord God, and I will believe and I will see your glory in my life. And I will understand the supernatural that you placed in me and all around me, Lord God, because you live in me. Thank you, Lord God, for supernatural joy, supernatural peace that you've placed on me, that I'm not going to let go of it. I'm going to hold on to it no matter what, because you, Almighty God, are the supernatural in my life. Healing is supernatural. Wisdom and knowledge, joy and peace are all supernatural for you in your life for right now. Have a great Rise and Shine Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, I'm on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Look me up and share me with someone, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.